today I take you guys along with us as we lower a four or five joint section of 42 inch 740 wall down into the ditch and make a weld. We show you guys the lineup, getting the space and getting it ready to tack and then just some time lapse of us welding it out. Uh, it's a very long process, real time. This took like way longer than however long this video is gonna be. So I cut it down so it wouldn't be too boring but thought it might be fun for you guys to watch. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. What's really going on, Mason? Oh, it looks a little strong on this end. Let's go check it out. Man, it actually looks pretty good. I think. I'll go grab the cut apparatus. You gonna pull up a little bit? You gonna stay right there? Well, if I pull down, they won't be able to get by me. I'll stay right there. Works for me. Just another 30 steps. No big deal. What's the rule of thumb on these track goes? Does it matter which way their tracks are? Depending on what thumb? Does it matter which way these tracks are whenever they're picking up pipe? Well, depending, depending on, on what you gotta do, you know. If you gotta yeah. track back and forth, you gotta have a perfect picture. But your nose in front end, they'll pick up more. You know, if you twist that nose in with this, then boom out, they'll pick up more that way. Just because the tracks are holding it. Right, you're at an angle, see, it's pushing down instead of straight over. See what I'm saying? Yeah. You're picking up this way, see. It ain't. You nothing. nose that in a little bit, then it's pushing this way. More support. Yeah. Well, it, you know, it, it'll pick up quite a bit more. But if they got to move, like you're saying? Yeah, if you got to move back to forth, you got to straighten back up. So what your dad mostly run was a hoe or a dozer or what did he, any hoe of it? Hoe and dozer. Yeah. He mostly worked in the wood right away. Yeah. He didn't drive boom too much. He could drive, he could, he could run one. Yeah. He's making me is, cut. Is he ready? Yeah. That's what I thought was ready. Run away. First, the line up. At this point, we've already made a cut on the section that's lowered in there. The section with the clamps on it is in the ground already. That's the main line. The section that's lowered in, we just cut some pipe off of it. You may or may not always have to cut pipe off of it. It just depends on where the bends are, the sags and the over bends to meet, meet the ditch where they're supposed to line up correctly. So we've made our cut and now we're making the line up.
ahí. The noise you guys are hearing is mostly water pumps. Some of it's the side booms up there holding the pipe, but a lot of it is a water pump. They have a couple of water pumps in the ditch usually because the ditch half the time is filled full of water. So to keep it dry and able to work in the ditch, they they put water pumps down in the ditch and that's what that, what that annoying noise is. Right here we are still putting the tacks in. You notice the clamps are still on the pipe. I probably put eight 532 bead rods in on my side and Jerry probably put six, five or six rods, 532 bead rods on his side. I cut quite a bit of footage out. It probably took twice as long to get the tacks in. I don't even realize how long it takes because I'm under the hood and don't even realize it, but watching this footage makes me realize that it takes a while. 42 inch pipe, it's a long ways around. We just ran that bead, we're gonna grind it, and we're gonna weld. I say it takes about three or four hours to weld one of these out depending on how laid back the bevels are and depending on how the individual welds eight to twelve passes have to be, to be capped out I know it was hard to hear me talking because I was trying to talk over the water pump and the side booms and the grinding, but if you guys didn't hear, a weld like that takes roughly four hours, give or take, depending on the welder, you know, how they weld and the bevels, you know, how laid back they are and stuff. So weld time, about four hours, three bead cap is what we put on it. And uh, 
kept heat on it the whole time, especially if it's colder. I don't know if it was cold that day or not, but definitely keep a little bit of heat on it. Make sure it stays up to 250 degrees or whatever they required. That is uh, what we did the rest of the day is made that weld. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, learn something every day. We'll see you next Friday.